Hi, ladies. So we are here to talk about systems. Um, let's see if we can um, invite some peeps. Let's make sure. Hope everybody is having a wonderful day. All right, I had to make sure we were on our team page. You know, I'm like that. So before I get started, I just want to see if a few of you guys will pop on. Um, I'm hoping this will be really quick because I don't really want to like go into this too much because it's pretty straightforward. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. That way I don't waste any of y'all's time. Um, so the biggest thing that um, I have implemented has been this planner system. Um, I tried to do the label system, which it kind of worked, it kind of didn't, and I was, I didn't stick with it. Um, so just basically, um, straightforward, system versus no system, you know, what are systems? So they are essential building blocks that we implement into our business, that way it kind of brings all the little intricate parts in that are a part of our business. And it makes like the whole grand scheme of things. So you have like your PRV, your teams, your recruits, um, your sales, and your IPAs. Anything that involves your business is something that is little, little detailed with these systems. It brings it all together and truly benefits you in the long run. Um, so, and it's very similar to the three legs, legs of success. And I don't know if you guys um, have seen that. But you have your coaching, your um, PRV, and your recruits. So you have to have multiple parts to run a business and be successful in a business, if that makes sense. Um, so I have implemented the planner system. I started this in March, okay, just to give you a little bit of kind of like data, I guess you could say. September of last year, um, so 2018, September is the first month that I hit director. And I um, consistently hit numbers for about four or five months, and then I went into the DQ. So this is me being very vulnerable and with you guys. So once you hit director, if you don't consistently hit director numbers, um, which is your 500 PRV, your 2,000 TWV, and then your 10,000 GWV. So you fall into what's called the DQ. I fell into it, okay? But I didn't stop and I didn't let that get me. I ended up coming out of the DQ and since implementing these systems in my business, um, we've hit director numbers since. And that's what is has been a huge eye opener for me and kind of like a slap on the wrist because a part of me is like, wow, I wish I'd have done this sooner. And if I would have done this sooner, my business would be in a completely different spot, guys. So um, the main thing has been the planner system. I'm going to kind of show you guys what exactly it is. So this is my planner that goes with me everywhere. Um, I have it with me when I do coaching calls, when I do team trainings. Um, it's with me all the time. So this is the happy planner. It's the big one. So that way, whenever I print stuff off, all I have to do is just hole punch it and then just stick it in here. So in the front is my Scentsy. I have the bundle and save sheet right here for the fall, 20, fall and winter 2019. And then I have the showcase brochure. So I pretty much just downloaded the PWF and added that into my planner. And then I've got my shipping chart in here just in case I need to refer back to this and give people examples. Um, I have the compensation plan in here. And guys, this is so important to learn, memorize. If you don't have it memorized, with, like me, I have it in my planner for a very specific reason. And if I need to know whether or not I'm going to hit numbers, which usually I've, I've gotten in the habit of doing that. So daily I look at numbers just to make sure we're on track and I'm good to go. So if you guys do not know what you need to put in each month, as your title or your rank, you need to know that. Um, that way you can get paid at title, okay? Being paid at title is very important and 
if you do that consistently, it'll truly help your business. So then I have my dream team list. Guys, this is two pages long, and it's not 100 people. These are off of my um, list of 100. So right now I have about 39 people in here. And this is an active list, okay? So on here I have um, Chrissy Grubb. You see? You see your name? And you got a purple join. So she was on my dream team list, guys. So this is why it's important to have a dream team list. Pick people out that you think that will do good in this business and need it. That way, you know, you start talking to them about it and then they're interested in Cincy. Look at that. She's a part of the team. So that's what that's the importance of a dream team list. So I have on here it has name. Have I asked them about joining Cincy? And it has either whether or not they asked me about it or I asked them about it. It has, did I send join information? And I have a check mark if I've sent the join information. Do I communicate with them via text, Facebook, or Instagram? That way I know, okay, if I contact with, if I communicate with them through Instagram, I need to keep that consistent. And I need to always communicate with them on Instagram unless we go to text messaging. Um, I have a one week follow up. So for this instance, this girl, she asked me about joining. Um, this is probably like three months ago. So don't freak out if it's only been one month and they're like, no, like I'm not ready yet. It takes time. A quote I heard the other day, they were saying, fruit or fruit doesn't grow the same day the seed's planted. Let that sink in. Fruit does not grow the same day the seed is planted. How true is that? You have to be consistent. And this is what these systems will help you do. So I have a one week follow up. She's not ready to join. One month follow up, back and forth. So she still is kind of like, I don't think I want to do this, or maybe I do. And then she asked me again about joining, but she still hasn't taken the leap. So, you know, that kind of lets me gauge, okay, is she going to be, um, you know, hit the ground running in this business, or is she going to be kind of not lackadaisical, but, you know, not as excited as some people are when they first get started, you know? You kind of gauge that back and forth, and you usually can tell whether or not, you know, they are going to be extremely interested and, like, balls to the wall or not. So then I have the two-month follow-up, and then I have notes, and how do I think that Cincy could bless her? So that's my second page. And I have one blank page because in case I need to go to three. Oh, I've got four. All right, guys. So this is my mail out slash sample request system. And guys, I just, this is all lumped into the planner system. So this is all a part of me. Um, that way I can keep tabs on everything and I have everything straight. So I have the customer's name, the date that they requested the mail out or the sample, the what I actually did send them, and then what date that I sent it on, and then notes to follow up. You can also do the electronic version of this through Maven slash Amy, but I like this, and then I still use Amy as well. Um, so those are all the mail out sample request forms, and then I have thank yous for my PWS. So I do these um, weekly. If I have a lot, usually I will do every other week. And sometimes if it's slow, I'll do it once a month in the middle of the month on the 15th. And that way I have, you know, I'm not sending it every single week. So those were the recent ones that I had done. So I, like I said, I put the customer name, the order date that they ordered, the thank you note sent, and the date that I sent it on, and whether or not they're subscribed to my newsletter, as well as follow-up. So I know that the snail mail will get there within two to three days. So I'm going to text them and ask them, Hey, what do you think about the scent circle? Because I write down the scent that I sent them. So that way, like I have in red up here, it says no food slash fruity scents because I know that customer does not like fruit, food or fruity scents. So that's my thank yous for my PWS. And this, which I hate that I did not do this sooner because the way I train my people now compared to how I did is a complete 180. And that was a disservice to me and my 
older teamies because I didn't have that one-on-one -on -one communication with them. Yeah, I answered all their questions and, you know, we chatted back and forth, but I didn't have a system. I didn't have a way to track, okay, we've talked about the PWS orders. We've talked about systems. I didn't have that, okay? And now I, and I kind of like, I talked with Mary Ellen, you know, when I enrolled, so we had like FaceTime dates and stuff, nothing like an actual system, but it was just communicating of what was here, what was there, what needs to be done here, you know, and so forth. And whereas we kind of did the same thing with my team members that joined because it was like, we would text back and forth and then I would get them to do the first things first checklist and then we'd go from there. Now it's completely different. So here is my system with the new teamies. I have everybody written down. I've got their join date, their why they decided to join. Um, and then I just go through the checklist. So we've got the checklist and consultant guide, Facebook kit and announce, which y'all know good and well, I always encourage y'all to go live with your kits. And I'm not going to ask you to do something that I don't do. I went live with my kit and looked like a completely idiot, a complete idiot, because I had no idea what some of the things were in the box, but I still did it because it helped launch my business. So, no, at the end of the day, I'm not going to ask you to do something that I am not doing. So, the launch party and list of 100, and I just give a check. I put the date for their 15th day, how to find training, which training center, so we go through that. And then Maven slash Amy, sponsoring and promotions, and then 70th day. Now, this is to go with that paper that we just went over. This new consultant orientation is what we got at, sorry, that's Chrissy's right now. So this is what we got at reunion this past uh, in Texas. So um, like a couple months ago, we got this from a, I think she's a SSD. She handed these out and this has literally been a game changer. All of these people that I've done this list with that I know that are like ready to go and they're ready to help and do whatever I encourage them to do, they're ready to go. They're already certified. And that says a lot to me, okay? I know that um, in the past, my teamies, they got certified, but it wasn't within like the 70 days. So I can see a difference in the way I train these people now versus the way that I used to train slash obviously not train, okay? And that hurts my heart. Like it really, it it bothers me very, it bothers me a lot because I know that I could have set y'all up for success a whole lot better than I did. And that's a, a gut check on me. So that, um, that is no more. And that is why I want um, these coaching calls to be done with everybody because I, um, I want to I want to start off different. So that is why I want everybody to do coaching calls and let's get back to the scheme of, or get back to the grand scheme of things and truly run this business like it's supposed to be run. So um, I apologize for that because that's clear that is on me as your sponsor. I should have stepped up to the plate and I wish I'd had these systems in place a whole lot sooner than I do or than I did. Um, so, and I have posted this, if I haven't posted it, I will. I don't know if I've posted it on the team page. I know I did the director's page, but I will get this posted. So, um, that way y'all have it for your future teammates as well. So that will get posted. And then the only reason why I also like this is I can look at the full month. And I have things like jotted down. But then when I get into um, the week, I have, which this was crazy. This was actually last week. So I had all of my purple on the left side of the week or the days to do with Scentsy. And then the other side is like personal. 
Hi, babe. So all the purple in my planner is Scentsy related, and then everything on the right side is personal. So, like, I have all the Scentsy and then flag football. And, like, for this week, we have purple and not a whole lot going on in life. So um, that is, in a nutshell, systems that I do. Now, if you do not currently have a system going on, I encourage you to get one, and I encourage you to um, figure out what works for you. This planner system may not work for you, and that's okay. If it doesn't, find one that works for you. Just you know, Google systems or watch. Um, I know Chastity does the planner system, but I know Katie Lasseter, she does label system. I know um, Chloe Cox, our SSD, she does the binder system. I know Andrea on here has started her binder system. And guys, she just started this month and she's already got her like ducks in a row, okay? That is so amazing. She's already got her binder. She's got the printouts of the digital uh, welcome packet that I sent her. She's got all of those printed out and she's, I mean, boss, boss, boss. Um, so that makes my heart extremely happy. But if you guys don't have systems, get one in place. That way you can benefit your business and grow. Um, I will say when I, I took some notes earlier in September of last year. So I hit director in September of last year. We stayed stagnant as a team. Like even the group, like it didn't grow. And then come May, which obviously, you know, you take into account the join special. Um, and then, um, we, I mean, we grew. Guys, we're almost at 100 people in this group. That is crazy. That is so crazy. Um, so March of 2019 is actually when I started this planner system. And guys, I don't usually have high PRV in a month. So, I mean, I hit my numbers, but I don't have high PRV at all. So I range anywhere from maybe before systems, which this is embarrassing because this is just embarrassing. Before number or before systems, I ranged anywhere from like 500 to 800 PRV. And I mean, to some that's good, but in my mind, like I, my PRV needs to be higher. But since I implemented the systems, my PRV has consistently grown and that's all from follow-ups. That's all from training my people the way they need to be trained. trained. I'm making up words here. Um, so now it's crazy to think that 2000 PRV is realistic, like it's realistic and it's happening this month. I'm claiming it, speaking it into its existence. It's going to happen this month. Y'all watch. Um, so systems, that's in a nutshell. I do the planner system. Um, self-development is extremely important because, um, if you're not doing something for you to keep you sane, which you know, my planner helps me stay sane. Working out helps me stay sane. If you don't do something for you, just know that um, you can't pour from an empty cup. So that's something that you need to reflect on and you need to constantly do, tra do trainings. Like just because you know what you know in Scentsy doesn't mean that you can't learn something. Learning never stops in this business. So be aware of that and take that in. Um, you guys should always be doing a training. There's a training tonight and the ladder to leaders. Um, that's at 830, I think. So those of you that are in there, um, at 8.30, y'all watch Ray Ray and Faith Kayampa. Those are both amazing ladies that know what they're doing in this business. Um, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm always here. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday, and I will talk to you soon.